to you guys about how clothes can affect someone who has autism or sensory processing disorder um, because I have sensory processing disorder and we are 99.9% sure hmm, that I have autism and so because of that I I <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> I feel my clothes differently than other people, and so does my daughter who does have autism. Um, and I have sensory processing disorder, and I don't know if I just said that or not. Sorry, my brain has very short-term memory at times. Anyways, <laughs> um, with that... I do process things differently, especially when it comes to sensory intake on touch and feeling of people and clothes and things around me and my cat right now is touching me and that's distracting. Hi, honey. Um, so anything from, and I have my notes because I can't remember anything like I just said, but um, Clothes can cause problems for us, like wearing jeans. For me, personally, it feels like if someone is taking needles all throughout whatever part of my body that is touching, and they're just like poking me with them. And so I have not worn jeans since high school. And um, even then, when I did wear them, the only jeans I liked to wear was what we called at that time flares. Um, otherwise, I could not stand jeans or um, overalls and that's because a lot of them were like the wider flared legs so they didn't really sit against my skin. Um, tags on clothing, almost every single my piece of my clothing have tags off of them because if I feel the tags on my skin it feels like my skin is turning on fire. It really really hurts um, and is more than just annoying. It, it really really it hurts. I get overheated in clothing extremely easy. Whoa, sparkles. Sorry about that, my cat off the table. <sighs> okay. Here we go again. Sorry guys. Okay, anyways. So for like, um, if I'm at home, Good gravy. I, I go from freezing in the winter to burning like I was in summer within a matter of like two minutes in wearing a sweatshirt in the house. So I cannot wear any pullover sweatshirts of any kind. Not only that, but just the feeling of it being like over my head and on my neck like that is like, oh, too much. Way too much. Nope. So I only wear zip down sweaters, um, and that's pretty much zip up. <laughs> zip up sweaters. And that's the same thing with my daughter too. She doesn't, she doesn't like anything that doesn't zip up or down or button up or down. And that's I will wear buttons too. Um, but she doesn't like anything that she has to like pull over her head. Um, as far as sweatshirts go, it's too restricting. Fly. Um, and so. Uh, our jackets in the store almost immediately come off. I know a lot of people walk around with jackets, but we will almost immediately take them off. Even outside in the winter time when we're out there playing, it is like nearly impossible for us to keep winter gear on and even worse for my daughter. Oh my gosh, it's like a pain because it's just so restricting and so hot. Everybody's touching the table. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> so restricting and so hot for us to keep them on and, and bothers them to our skin. Um, I can't wear jogging suits because it feels to me like a billion hands, little teeny tiny hands are touching me all over the place. Um, so for me that is like a big no-no. I absolutely love the swishy pants though. Where my daughter as well loves the swishy pants but she could live in jogging suits. Um, so there's like, you know, there's a big difference there. Um, now some people can wear silk. I don't mind silk if, uh, if I'm just wearing it to like, 
I don't know, for a few seconds. <laughs> but I guess I could say I really don't like it because I, I would rather just rip it right off. <laughs> um, but some people can wear silk and others can can don't like the sound of the swish pants. Like my eldest daughter does not like that sound, but I absolutely love that sound. And I will wear swish pants all day long if you give me the chance. Um, some find the breathable tight shirts to be really, really nice. I like the constricting shirts. I think that feels really nice on my body because it's just it gives that deep pressure that I like so much. Others may like the loose fitting shirts, and I don't like loose fitting shirts unless it's a sweatshirt. Then I like it. Um, sheets, blankets, hats, mittens, boots, shoes, socks, anything. Anything that touches the skin doesn't really matter to us what it is, if it's touching our skin and it's not the right material, it's going to bug us. So I have to buy the right sheets for my bed, I have to write, buy the right clothing for me, I have to buy the right hats, and I, it takes a little while to discover what you do like and then um, finding out the materials that you don't like and then going to make sure that when you buy them you're looking at each and every label to make sure that they don't have those materials in those clothing within that size and you know the company that you like, especially if you're like me and love to go secondhand shopping. Um, and it's not like it's it's an allergy, it's just how our brain takes in that sensory. Um, it's even when t people were to touch in the store, if you, if you someone were to bump into us, it sends my anxiety <laughs> like through the roof. Um, and it usually sends my daughter on a rampage. My youngest about someone else touching her or you know talking to her excuse me or or me if someone talks to me that I don't know very well I don't go on a rampage necessarily but I do get very in, uh, enclosed in, into my own shell my own world my own body I don't know how you want to put that but that's how we react to the that touch um, if we're upset, if we're sad, no, don't give us a hug without warning. We only will accept it if we approach you for the hug. Um, that's not okay for us and for, I'm sure, I can't say for all autist autistic people, for a lot of autistic people that I have met, it has been way more okay for them to approach you than for you to approach them with touch of any sort. So if you see that they're upset, it's more, it's a lot better, a lot uh, feasible, I guess, for you to come up to them and say, All right, hey, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? And, you know, would you like a hug instead of just going over and giving them a hug because that could send them more on a rampage. Uh, and then, you know, I know that in neurotypical people that means a good thing and that means comfort, but for us that actually means pain and fear and not a comforting thing. Um, it, it actually, for some people, it's just, this is not okay, this is, um, like, you're breaking down a barrier that is there, that is a very hard barrier, and for others, it's actually really painful for you to touch them, and you might, you might as well have, like, just stabbed them. Um, so, I just wanted to bring out how we react to different clothing, different touches, like um, even on furniture or carpets, even that, even outside elements, all of those soft sand actually hurts for us to step on. For, for me, personally, I shouldn't say us, but me personally it hurts to step on. I cannot. I have to wear my sandals, even on the muddy sand. I can't go um, step in that. I can't step in the, in pools as easily, so things that we may take for granted, autistic and sensory processing disorder do not. And um, when they say it hurts, please don't disregard it as they're just making it up because we're not. This is something that is real and it's hard to understand, but it is there. It is very real. It really does hurt. And I'm trying to speak out for the people who don't have voices, who don't have words to be able to, to explain as much that we need you guys to hear. We need the moms and the teachers and the daycare workers and the doctors to hear our voices.
and to understand that we're not just saying this for attention or we're not just saying this because we we're, we're want to be rude. We're saying this because we're really in pain. We're saying this because we're really not sure how to process this. And with proper, um, proper therapy, we may or may not be able to come over, be, overcome this, but it will get better at the very least. Thank you for listening. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and be sure to, be sure to subscribe.